So PeerSpace is hands down my favorite site right now to list all of my venues on, whether it's my short-term rentals, my flex space, or my event spaces. And the reason why is it has so much more flexibility. You can make a lot more revenue. And I'm giving you a full detailed review in the link below. So go ahead and click that if you wanna skip this video. Otherwise, this video is gonna give you a good overview of everything that I love about PeerSpace. Number one, the Airbnb short-term rental model is one price for a 24-hour period. However, with the peer space model, you can price it by the hour and you can actually change the price depending on the use of the venue. For instance, a photo shoot where a lot of things may not be put out of place and there may not be a lot of damage, you can charge a lot less per hour than you would for a party where you know they're gonna bring food in, they're gonna be drinks in, and you know it's gonna be a lot more to clean up afterward. Um, there's actually opportunities where you can rent out individual rooms. So if you just have a conference room in a space that you're in that you want to rent out $35, $45, $100 an hour, you can do that. You, the, the pricing is not as connected to the neighborhood or the area that you're in also like Airbnb. For instance, if you're in an area where, you know, the average nightly rent is only 149, it's kind of hard for you to command 400. But however, if you have a really nice space like this, um, you can charge $95, $195 an hour, depending on your market, and make a lot more revenue in the same amount of time. Something else I like about the difference in the pricing model is that you, when you think about revenue and the cost of that booking, it's a lot less when you don't have a guest staying overnight. You're actually not running a hotel. You can actually just do cleanup in between the guests. It's a lot lighter, and it's, it's a lot easier to, uh, to handle and manage um, even though you can have multiple bookings in the same day. In addition to the difference in the pricing model, you can also do custom quotes. So before a guest books their actual stay, you have the opportunity to review what they're asking for. You actually have the review and add on extras if they ask for, for specific things. Let's say they want uh, audio equipment. Let's say they want access to something special with the TV network. Um, you can set all these things up and, and make those extra costs on top of the regular booking fee. Now, something else that's important is that you have the right to customize the quote. You can lower a quote, say you want to give a veteran a discount, um, say you have a friend that you want to charge half price, you can actually do that as well. So you have a lot of flexibility with the model. And there's also an option for an instant booking. So if they do choose instant booking, it minimizes the amount of communication. However, you will not have the flexibility to change the price point. The only thing you can do is reach out to them and maybe cancel the booking and reset if you see something out of line. So you're probably wondering what types of venue spaces are good to put on peer space. And I'm gonna tell you literally any type of space. Anything that anybody would want to rent for any reason, even if it's an old abandoned house, hey, somebody with a movie, a movie production uh, studio may need that space to shoot a scene. Um, it could be, like I said before, it could be empty office space. It could be in a restaurant that has downtime. All of these spaces have specific uses, and I guarantee you there's somebody in your market that's looking for an opportunity to have a space just like that, and the best platform for you to put it on is going to be peer space, like I said, because uh, it's, it just doesn't fit an Airbnb or VRBO type model. Um, there aren't really many other platforms like peer space that are as thorough for you to have detailed pictures, detailed descriptions, and have so much open communication with potential guests. So right now, peer space is gonna be best suited for the larger markets. I'm not saying they won't work in smaller markets, but peer space New York, peer space Atlanta, peer space Houston, peer space Chicago, peer space Los Angeles. These places are gonna be great because there's a big demand for event venues in these locations. Now, I'm not saying smaller towns won't work, you just may not have the frequency of bookings that you're gonna get on a big, on a, on a big metropolitan uh, city like you will, like I have here in Houston. Um, I love Houston. There's a lot going on. We're, we're just now getting back from COVID, so a lot more events are beginning to get booked. And it's been a great, great decision for me to switch over from a strictly Airbnb model to having these peer space units. Another great flexible feature that you have on there is you can choose the minimum and the maximum booking amount of time. So if you don't want people in there 24 hours, you want to limit the amount of time they're in there, or if you don't want to have to shuffle too many one hour, two hour bookings, you can set your minimum at whatever you like. I set mine at four hours, just because I like the amount of revenue I'm gonna get out of the four hours. When you subtract the 15% of service fee that PeerSpace charges for using the platform and you, you calculate in 
uh, the cleaning cost, which is also something that you can set at whatever number you want, depending on how much your cleaning service charges you. Um, that allows you to have the flexibility and the control of your revenue and the time management for each booking and in between your booking. One of my favorite things about PeerSpace is the platform is very user friendly. It's easy for you to go in there um, and set up a new space. Uh, they walk you step by step through a bunch of questions that make it really easy for you to set up. You can choose what types of events you can have in your space. Um, you can choose what people can and cannot do in your space. And it gives you a lot of control over the use of the space. Um, they also offer a great platform on the side for the people that are gonna be booking. So when the potential guests go to the site, they can type in your city, they can type in the type of event, they, they, they select the dates, and then you know it gives them plenty of options. And your goal is to be on the top page, just like my listings stay on the top page. Just make sure you're very responsive to the guests because all of those metrics are counted into the algorithm to know where you're placed and how many people they're gonna put your event space, your short-term rental, your flex space in front of. So you have the option on the booking feature to allow an instant booking. However, if you don't wanna do that, if you're someone that's meticulous and you wanna maybe review the guests to see their past uh, bookings and see what the other uh, venue owners rated them, then you have the option to turn off instant booking. That also gives you the flexibility to make sure that you don't have a pending booking that may be a higher revenue for you. If someone does an instant booking in that time slot, it'll prevent you from ever, from ever being able to get that longer booking. So you, you wanna make sure that you're comfortable with the way you do it, um, but th they give you all the flexibility in the world, so that's great. Another great thing about PeerSpace is they have a direct messaging feature for each potential guest. As they put in a request for a booking, you can communicate with them. They can communicate with you back and forth, ask specific questions. Maybe you forgot to put some type of detail in the online description that they have specifically. The, off, the questions I get often are about the parking. Um, it may be about, you know, is there is there a surround sound system that they can plug into? Um, they ask about, you know, what types of things are allowed or aren't allowed? Can I have a DJ? How loud can I be? Can I come in before the booking time? Can I leave after? Um, and clean up, you know, take an extra 45 minutes to clean up after my booking's over. These are types of questions that you get very often. Some of them will even ask if they can stop by the venue uh, before deciding whether they're gonna book or not. So having the flexibility to communicate with them there makes it a lot easier and a lot more fluid for you to have a, a, a transparent, congruent booking process. So if you're like me, you're very weary of having a guest that has a bad reputation and you wanna know how these guests have handled the previous venues that they've leased or, or booked. And so what's great about PeerSpace is it's a two-way review system. So you as the owner of the venue get to review the guests and then the guest also gets to review you. So what I like to do is go and look at uh, the guest's ratings and look at the other comments from the other venue owners that they've uh, booked before just to make sure this person is gonna be a right fit. In the unfortunate incident that there are some damages from the guest after they leave, you can go in when it's time to rate the, the guest. You can, there's an option for you to go down and uh, notify PeerSpace that there are some damages and they will charge the, card, the credit card that the guest has on file for those damages. I know you know how overwhelming it can feel listing your property on different sites that waste your time and don't make you any money. I've been there before. That's why listing on PeerSpace is a no-brainer. It's absolutely free to sign up, and with the link I'm giving you below, you will get 50% off host fees on your first booking. After you click the link below and list your property for free, your space will be a few clicks away from millions of visitors per month that PeerSpace already has. PeerSpace has already paid out over $140 million to people like you and me with spaces to rent out for a few hours. Here is a screenshot of my last six days making over $2,500 plus, which I want to point out, that 900 of it was in one day because of multiple bookings, which I could never do on Airbnb. I talk about this in my full review, so click the link below to get access to it now.